Hey everybody, I am a Luminar AI user and one of the things that I'm not crazy about, um, and it's the same thing with Luminar 4, is that if you were to uh, want to load in new LUTs or, or uh, skies, you have to load them in one at a time and you have to kind of keep them in um, you know, a place where you know where they are. And um, you know, I just want to be able to use them right from the menu without having to load them. Um, so I'm going to show you where to do that. Um, so if you are on a Mac, you can go ahead and open up your uh, applications. Uh, da, 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 your applications, which is right there. Yeah, there, we, there we go. Find Luminar AI, and then right-click on it and say Show Package Contents. All right. So it's buried in there deep, but you're going to want to go into Contents, and then from there into Frameworks, and then from there into, and this is the one I had to dig around to find, the MIPLResources.Framework folder. Um, and then in, from there, you're going to go into Versions. And from there, you're going to go into A. And then from there, you're going to go into Resources. Now, once you're inside Resources, you'll see a whole bunch of uh, files. But then you'll see that you have um, a folder here called Sky Textures. So if you were to drop in any of your own sky images that you wanted to use into the sky textures uh, folder here, um, and your LUTs, uh, they go into the default LUTs uh, folder here. So if you bought, say, a LUT pack, you can put the entire folder right into this default LUTs, and you, you will see the heading of the, uh, or the folder title show up as the heading, and then the LUTs underneath that. Um, so that you don't have to keep loading those LUTs one at a time, but you can um, you know, use them right from Luminar without having to do that. It's just a little more convenient that way. Hope you find that helpful.